Good evening, Massey graduates, faculty, family, and friends. My name is Manik Sharma, and I am very honored to be chosen as the class of 2020's Salatorian. As you can tell, I am very ecstatic and excited to be graduating virtually and have my real graduation stripped away from me. But due to certain circumstances, I must hide my emotions. I would like to take this time to thank all the teachers who helped us on this journey. Except for Mr. Bagwell, though. You didn't round up my 73 to a 98, and I still have a grudge against you. Listen, man, we can still work it out. Just text me. High school started out patchy, kind of like the guys' beards, you could say. For many of us, the transition to the new environment was scary. But, like famous philosopher and scientist Aubrey Graham once said, started from the bottom, and now we're here. And it sure does look like the whole team made it, virtually at least. The pep rallies, the sports, the spares, the friends you met that turned into family, all adds to the great experience. My most memorable time at Massey was when a teammate hit a bicycle kick against our arch rivals holy names at the top of the game. And I'm sure everyone has that one moment that will last a lifetime. Together, we got through these four tough years and it reflected on our class. The class of 2020 was no ordinary. We got to witness the Toronto Raptors bring home their first NBA championship. We lived through an era where low pump dropped Gucci gang and we're obviously going through a pandemic right now. But in all seriousness though, to the faculty, parents, guardians, or any other personnel and loved ones that helped us on our journey, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I really do mean that, I mean it. Many of us waited a whole 12 years for this day, some even longer. While some of us might feel like a big step in our life was missed, others might not care. But for a matter of fact, I know that we will all take our next step knowing that we made the best of, we, best of our situation. So to my brothers and sisters, good luck, have fun, take care. Thank you. We acknowledge that we are on the land surrounded by water originally inhabited by indigenous peoples who have traveled this area since time immemorial. This territory is within lands honored by the Wampum Treaties, agreements between the Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee, Lenape, Lenape, and allied nations to peacefully share and care for the resources around the Great Lakes. Specifically, we would like to acknowledge the presence of the Three Fires Confederacy, Ojibwe, Odawa, Potawatomi, and Huron-Wendat peoples. We are dedicated to honoring indigenous history and culture while remaining committed to moving forward respectfully with all First Nations, Inuit, and Métis. Graduates, families, friends, staff, it is my pleasure and honour to be able to address you this evening on behalf of the Board of Trustees. All of my colleagues and I would, of course, prefer to be with you in person for this occasion. However, I know that you understand why that's not possible right now. I hope you also appreciate, as we do, the effort of your school community to create this presentation to acknowledge, at this time, the Class of 2020. This has been a difficult period for everyone, students, their families, teachers, and administrators. It has been, in every way, a crisis. A crisis, but not a catastrophe. 
we have, with the highest intention and incredible creativity, continued to provide high quality educational opportunities in as manageable a format as possible. I am proud that we have shown and seen exceptional strength, fortitude, and resilience, but that is merely my perspective. The most important assessment, however, should be your own. How did you perform as an individual, as a citizen, as a student? This should not just be applicable to the past few months, though. Your greatest, your most sincere responsibility should always be to yourself during an emergency, as well as each and every day. We are marking your achievements in school to date, so I hope you smiled today and said, well done. You have made it through these past few months, but more significantly, you have endured all kinds of different tests over your years in school. You may not have chosen all these challenges, but you have accepted them and done what was required to succeed. I urge you to use the experience, recent and former, to continue to strive and to achieve. I look forward to the opportunity of congratulating you face to face at the appropriate time and in the appropriate fashion. Congratulations, and I wish you much success in your future. Thank you very much. Graduates, family members, friends, staff, welcome to what we hope will be a unique experience for everyone. This is not the ceremony that anyone envisioned when the year began or at any point in our collective memories. Though I'm extremely thankful that we have the technology and resources to be able to provide this modest recognition of your exceptional achievements. We also appreciate the efforts of all those who have taken the time and energy to produce this video. Excuse my predisposition as an educator, but I do have a question for the class of 2020. However, this quiz will not be graded, and there's no correct answer. What have we learned from COVID-19 pandemic and the impact it has had on us educationally, socially, and emotionally? Take a moment, maybe later, to think about this through a lens of gain and not loss. Sure, we've sacrificed many things for our health and well-being, as well as for those around us. But I know you can also consider the ways in which we have grown and the things we now appreciate previously that we may have taken for granted and how our perspective on our place in the world has evolved in the last three to four months. For instance, I think we can agree that all learning doesn't have to happen in a classroom and lessons don't just come from textbooks. Our experiences in the world can teach us a great deal. Some of you may be watching this alone but I think you realize that you're not by yourselves. There are many people that you don't see on this screen and probably haven't seen for some time who are supportive and concerned about your well-being. Graduates, you belong to an exclusive fellowship. Your final year of high school is historical in nature. Each of you and all those in every other high school in this province, can lay claim to the experience not shared by any other cohort of students in a century of public education. While significant, one year is a mere sliver of a student's experience and should not overshadow the value or importance of your entire adventure. Look back on this year as a moment, an episode in a long-running binge-worthy series, and how many great shows that you've watched in the last few months had disappointing finales or final episodes that weren't perfect, but were still good enough to be entertaining. So we urge you all to take all that experiential learning, as well as what you've received in your classes, labs, and lectures, and use that to be good citizens, whether you're alone at home, with your families in the future, or during gatherings of more than five people. Congratulations, and I wish you all health, happiness, and success. You make me very hopeful about the future. Good evening, graduates, parents, guardians, and other joining us today in support of our graduates. My tremendous thanks to the many staff and students that have participated in this celebration of the graduates' achievements. Although we can't be together to celebrate, I hope every graduate understands the pride that we feel for each of you and your accomplishments. Well, my first year as principal at Vincent Massey Secondary School has been a challenge to say the least. 
The duties of a principal change and evolve on a daily basis to meet challenges of the school community. With each challenge comes opportunity, an opportunity to meet the challenge and make a difference. Vincent Massey Secondary School graduates, the class of 2020, graduation marks the completion of a challenge. Upon completing the challenge and earning your secondary school diploma, I hope you can reflect on how you rose up to each and every challenge that you faced over the last four years. It is time to appreciate and celebrate all that you have accomplished. I'm sure there were setbacks along the way, but if the challenge had been easy, the reward would not have been worth achieving and achieving with excellence. You are all, you are all moving forward. You are all moving in your own unique path. We may be moving in different directions, but are we, all, we are all moving through the turbulence and disruption that the pandemic has brought to our lives. We are, all, we are all being challenged. Turbulence and disruption are roadblocks to achievement and make our journey more difficult. What is achieved will be through hard work and dedication, not through entitlement. Rise up to the challenge and reach, reach success with hard work, with perseverance, with excellence, and most of all, with kindness to everyone around you. It has been said that high school years are the best years of your life. Even though your high school experience was cut short due to the pandemic, I hope each of you can reflect back on your entire high school experience and can enjoy the memories of positive experiences, academic accomplishments, and of course, the friendships and relationships you built through your four years at Massey. As you move forward, there will be more challenges. I will put one on you now. Take time to enrich the lives of those around you. Small acts of kindness and large gestures of good will go a long way to making our society a better place. It is amazing the impact you have on the people you touch. Be the positive impact that our world needs right now. Will your high school years be the rest, best years of your life? Or will each year be better than the last? The decision is yours. Be well, be kind, and strive for excellence in all you do. Thank you.
Good evening, Massey, or morning, or whenever this video gets to you. I know that this isn't the graduation ceremony that any of us really planned on having, but I hope you still find the same level of pride and the same sense of accomplishment that you would have at a regular ceremony, because you deserve it. I'd like to offer thanks on behalf of the graduates, the families that are celebrating here with us today, as well as the family members that help support us along the way. The moms, dads, amas, appas, dedes, dades, nanabus, nanamis, tatas, amis, jaditis, jadis, babas, didimas, aunties, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, everyone. Whether it was waking us up after all-nighters or driving us out way too early hours for band or picking our sweaty bodies up from practice or even working for like five minutes on a math problem before saying, well, they didn't teach it to me like this in high school. We couldn't have done it without your support and your love and no amount of thanks from me or your graduate will cover that. Thanks as well to the teachers who went above and beyond to seek excellence in every student, who proved to be more than just teachers, but people that we could depend on and rely on and learn life lessons from. Your level of commitment to making the, play, the classroom a place where we can all learn and grow does not go unnoticed, it is life-changing. Thanks as well to the Massey staff and support, not only because they are the backbone of this community and not only because they do so much work behind the scenes to make Massey the best place it can be, but because I've also left so much stuff in classrooms and in lockers and lo behind locked doors throughout the four years, I've just got to offer a personal I'm sorry for every person that I've ever bothered to open stuff for me after hours. Walk down the hallways at Massey and it's pretty crowded. Crowded, gross, pushy, we're pretty much pushing each other everywhere, but we're especially pushing Niners around. Walk into the classrooms at Massey. We're pushing each other there as well too, just not physically, I mean usually academically. But outside of the hallways and outside of the classrooms, outside of the regular school hours, Massey is a community. Whether it's through clubs, activities, sports or teams or anything else, Mustangs find themselves united under common goals, and instead of pushing each other, they bring each other up. Massey has always been a community for me, especially when from the beginning we've had opportunities to help others, be it through the Terry Fox walk, or through cheering on kids at CCP, or when the can drive comes around comparing the weights of net weight tuna and canned weight tuna. More than that though, Massey is a great place to get a new haircut, show off your new gardening equipment, or discuss the infinite wisdom of urinal number five. For all my graduates, I'm gonna take us down a little trip through memory lane beginning in grade nine. After orientation, we were bright eyed, fresh faced and dazzled by everything that a huge new school had to offer. Within the first few months at Massey, we had the opportunities to get spooked at Halloween night, show off our spirit at a pep rally and attend coffee house to watch people rock the stage. Grade 9 also featured the first and last Massey Hacks that ever offered Soylent, for very obvious reasons. In class in grade 9, we learned about William Shakespeare, learned way too much about lines, and finally mastered the phrase, Est-ce que je peux aller aux toilettes? By the next year, grade 10, we were a little bit less awkward, and we had a few more friends. Students this year went away as far as Japan, Montreal, and Casterbridge. We got a little bit more involved this year, maybe as caster crew for Crucible, at CCP or as security at ANS where you tried to look as tough as you could be. There was a new calf that we celebrated with a multicultural dinner. There were five cross country OFSA wins this year and chess not only made it to the championships, but also taught us the valuable lesson of reading your Etsy posts before you publish them. Next year was grade 11 when we were told that we would need to work harder and hunker down. We took this advice in moderation, of course, dancing away to DJ PJ at Semi, making more runs to Dougal Dons than ever. Band kids went all the way to New York City in grade 11. Grade 11 also marked the end of school talk, may it rest in peace forever. School talk is survived by and missed by students wanting to avoid doing work and teachers wanting to do work alike. Wrestling made it all the way to offset in grade 11, where they were able to say hello to our nation's capitol building. Grade 12 is a little bit of a different story. I think that we all felt a sense of insecurity and shiftiness from the beginning. There was a lot of change, and while a lot of change can bring great things, it can also bring uncertainty and a little bit of worry. There was a new principal, school striking, and a change from school talk to Massey T. It seemed like the only constants in our life as Mustangs 
was the hardships of Mohan physics, the joy of 8.40 a.m. traffic, and the sultry temptress that is cafeteria poutine. However, when quarantine came around, things got even shakier. What seemed to be at first just a nice couple extra weeks on top of our March break and a nice cruise out of our senior year actually meant, for all likelihood, graduating in our PJs. Let's be honest. But in all seriousness, the past few months have been some of unrest, controversy, and isolation, not just for Massey, but for people everywhere. And it reminds me of my least favorite piece of advice. You've probably heard it before. Grow up. Life isn't fair. I can remember the first time I was told this, as I'm sure you might be able to too. And it makes me angry. I'm a bit of a dreamer myself, and I hate the idea that I just have to accept that life isn't fair as a price of going up. But now it feels like it. Because during our graduation, when we've been asked to grow up more than ever, it also seems like the world is going through a period of harsh realities that must be accepted. Life isn't fair. It seems like graduation is a double-edged sword. There's independence and coming of age, but there's also harshness and injustice. Are we just supposed to accept it? Maybe the adults were right about it all along. Maybe life isn't fair. But I don't think that means that we should let it discourage us, not in the slightest. After all, the reason why graduation is a momentous occasion isn't because the world is some wonderful place. It's because now we have the power more than ever to make it a wonderful place. We have all of these unique skills that we've developed, a community that we've been a part of, and now we get to move on. Sure, maybe life isn't fair. Sure, the world is, might, not be in, might not be just, but we are the world's future. We get to decide where everything goes from here. 2020 has kind of sucked so far but it's only halftime, baby. The world might not be fair, but this is up to us from here to make it the world that we want to be, to help contribute and do our part as people who are growing up and coming of age. Celebrate that we are among those who can help make the world a better place. Celebrate that today and every day after. Hold yourself accountable when you celebrate, knowing that when you celebrate your self-sufficiency and your ability to help others and make the world a better place, you are determining that you will help others. Demand the best of yourself every day and do what you love. Don't do what is practical, but do what you love because the world needs that more than ever. The world needs to be filled of people who do what they love and find out how to make the world a better place by doing it. The world doesn't need more people concerned with practicality because the world isn't fair, but changing that is up to us. So I'll leave you with this piece of advice, my class of 2020. The world isn't fair, but if we take this celebration and every celebration after to celebrating what we can do to make it a better place, to celebrating ourselves and our abilities and how we can help others, we might get a little closer. So, move boldly, make noise, and above all else, listen to others. That's all for today, Massey. Have a wonderful Wednesday.
your graduation, I wanted to quote a few lines from Joy Harjo's poem, Remember. Remember that you are all people, and all people are you. Remember you are this universe, and this universe is you. Remember all is in motion, is growing, is you. Remember language comes from this. Remember the dance language is, that light is. Remember, here's to a graduation we'll all remember. Best of luck, class of 2020. Hello, class of 2020. It's me, Mrs. Cray, your teacher, your art club leader, your dungeon master. I'm just here to wish you the best and to let you know I'm going to miss all of you very, very much. One second. I need to roll to see how you're going to do in your future. It's exactly as I expected. A natural 20. A critical success. This is a really difficult time, but I know you're all going to rise to the challenge. Again, I'm going to miss you guys so much and I wish you all the best. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're here today to celebrate all of your tremendous achievements and reflect on the many memories you've made as a Massey Mustang. I hope that you're able to celebrate with those close to you today. We're thinking of you, we're proud of you, and we wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Best of luck. Hi Massey grads, this is Miss Nahaychuk. I wish you all the best. I want to congratulate you on a job well done. And I want you to remember your favorite moment from high school and take it with you wherever you plan to go in the future. I wish you all the very best. Stay healthy, stay happy. Congrats of 2020 on overcoming all sorts of adversity. Congratulations on setting milestones like uh, becoming ninth in the uh, country for Terry Fox and really uh, blazing a trail for all future uh, students of uh, Massey and what it is to be a Mustang. Um, I'm so proud of you and so thankful for the opportunity to get to meet so many of you and I wish you luck in all. Hey graduates, so I just, we just, Mr. Bontra and I just thought we'd uh, video conference together our uh, messages to you and our well wishes. Uh, we know many of you are off to, you know, exciting and important things and we just wanted to let you know that we both believe in you and we wanted to remind you of the importance of you know making great friends yeah you might want to maybe do a better a better job than the two of us did because you see what we did all year long yeah true so and you know making sure you uh you know try new things and you know explore stuff outside your comfort zone and sometimes you know it's okay to you know try something you're not sure about it's always hard to make that first step like you know you got any examples for him, mr bontra Oh, geez, uh, join, well, if you want to do something like wasteful, maybe join the biology club or something. Yeah, or learn how to do potions, better known as chemistry. Oh, there we go. Yeah. And yeah, and one more thing too, stay organized. No one's going to tell you when to do your stuff. Stay organized, lots of ways to do that, and you will ace your studies. Yeah, stay organized, you know, follow your heart, and, you know, believe in yourself, because that's a big thing about life, is just believing in yourself, and you know, taking care of yourself. Absolutely. We miss you guys. We wish we were together. We know we can't be, but listen, don't be strangers. Come and visit. You know how to contact us. We hope to hear from you. Yep, we Good believe luck, in you. Take care. Good luck, Rats. Of 2020, I just wanted to say I'm so proud of you and your accomplishments are to the moon. Way to go, my to those of you I had the privilege of Hey Massey grads, here's some words of wisdom. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Hey Massey grads, here's some more words of wisdom. It's okay if you miss some of the shots that you take. Hey Massey grads, sometimes you miss. But there's always a rebound! The graduating class of 2020. I leave you with the kind words of Carl Sagan as a way to say farewell, best of luck, take all that life gives you and make the most of it. Congratulations. Look again at that dot. That's here, that's home, that's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you've ever heard of, every human being who ever was lived out there in life aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forger, every hero and coward, 
every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. It has been said that astronomy is a humbling and character building experience. There is perhaps no better demonstration of the folly of human conceits than this distant image of our tiny world. To me, it underscores our responsibility to deal more kindly with one another and to preserve and cherish the pale blue dot, the only home we've ever known. Hello, it is my honour to conclude this year's graduation ceremony for Vincent Massey Secondary School. A heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2020. As I begin, I'd first like to thank all the people who put together this video. There was a lot of work gathering slides and pictures and graduation award information. Work all done outside of their regular classroom and teaching duties. So thank you for putting together this video. I know it's not the video, the ceremony that our students and families wanted. It's not what we wanted to give you, but it's the best we could do under these trying circumstances and difficult times. On behalf of administration, I'd like to thank all the staff at Massey for their hard work and dedication. In the classroom throughout the school year, extracurricular activities after school and on the weekends, they did a great job. They showed great dedication to our students. Then the fateful March, again, circumstances beyond our control, we had to switch gears. And that involved a huge and steep learning curve for not only students, but for staff. They learned, they adapted, and they continued to teach our students. So thank you to the staff at Massey. And now a very special thank you to the parents, the guardians, and extended family members of our students. You trusted us with the most important people in your lives. You trusted us with your children. You supported us and helped us teach them. At home, you supported us by asking all the hard questions, like, did you do your homework? Did you study for your test? Only to hear the usual answers, oh, no homework, no test, or yeah, I did, so it's done. You asked them, wait, well, what did you do in school today? Only to hear the usual nothing. But you persevered through everything that a teenager does, and you raised wonderful, fine young adults. So thank you to you. And finally, to the graduating class. It was my first year at Massey when you started grade nine, four years ago, and we've come a long way together. We played the usual games of chase, hiding and seek and tag, and I even taught you the difference between a transit Windsor bus and a school bus. So you know to come to school on a snow day. All those little blips and hiccups though, throughout the years, they started to blur as we watched you learn and grow. And most importantly, I think we developed a sense of mutual respect as we helped each other and supported each other through these four years. So thank you and good luck. The future is still shaped by you. So continue to choose well. Godspeed, God bless. Thank you. Getting dressed up so much. Uh, another year comes to a close. Wonder what next year is going to look like. Oh, I guess. I think they'll be fine. Must be a beach open somewhere.